Back here at home, many COVID-19 patients have successfully fought the virus with treatments offered at community medical centers. One treatment that sets us apart is the ECMO program and the team that oversees it. Those who battle a severe bout of the coronavirus will likely have respiratory problems. That was the case for 35-year-old mother Sophia Zapata. COVID-19 had ravaged her lungs and a ventilator just wasn't helping her breathe. Sophia qualified for ECMO treatment. ECMO stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It essentially takes over heart and lung functions for people who have a severe or life-threatening illness. Community Regional Medical Center is the only hospital in the valley with a specialized ECMO program for adults. After two months in the hospital, Sophia was finally able to go home with her family, and she credits her survival in part to the ECMO treatment. The ECMO program at Community Regional also helped save the life of Central Coast resident El Mufo Sanchez. The coronavirus made him severely ill, and conventional therapy was not successful. In a last effort to save his life, Sanchez was placed on ECMO, a way to put oxygen in the blood while bypassing the lungs. Primarily what it's doing is the work of the lungs. It's, uh, it's taking uh, blood that is unoxygenated and putting it through a circuit, an oxygenator, and oxygenating the blood and returning that blood to the, bo to the body. Cammie Johnson was diagnosed with COVID-19 in June and was hospitalized at Clovis Community Medical Center. She credits convalescent plasma therapy to helping her get through her 11-day stay as she fought the virus. Convalescent plasma therapy uses blood donated by people who've recovered from COVID-19 that has antibodies for the virus that causes the disease. The donated blood is processed to remove blood cells, leaving behind liquid plasma and antibodies. Cami received two treatments of convalescent plasma therapy and was reunited with her husband after beating COVID-19.